right. Um, last part here. Just wanted to solve these quick for you because now you can see some more examples on how to do some problems like these because this type of problem always uh, um, screws up the kids. So uh, anyway, the point is when you're looking at a problem like this, uh, you're trying to figure out, well, what could I do? How could I solve this problem? I understand it is challenging. It really is challenging. I get that. But anyway, when we're looking at this, um, we can rewrite this as x squared squared. Remember, we talked about that before. Um, and this is x squared, and that is positive 6. All right. I'm going to take out all the x squareds and label them as a. So really, I have a squared minus 7a plus 6 equals 0. Can you think of two numbers that multiply to give you 6 that add to give you negative 7? Well, I can, right? Um, negative 6 and negative 1. So I could rewrite this as a minus 6 and a minus 1, except it's not a's, right? It's x squared because now I can substitute that back in so I actually end up with my two factors as x squared minus 6 and x squared minus 1 but keep in mind they equal 0 so what that means is take each of those x squared minus 6 and set it equal to 0 and let's solve that one so to solve that I would add 6 to both sides so I get x squared equals 6 I'd square root to get x equals plus or minus the square root of 6. So those are two answers right there. But that was x squared minus 6. Now I need to do it over here. I'll do x squared minus 1 equals 0. So I'd add 1 to both sides. So I get x squared equals 1. I'd square root both sides to get x equals it's plus or minus, right, because I square root it, 1. So I end up with plus or minus 1 and plus or minus square root of 6. Guess what? Four answers, and this was to the fourth power. Okay, remember, whatever the power is, that's how many answers you get. Uh, taking a look at this one, I could rewrite this again as x squared squared minus 8x squared, right, plus 7 equals 0. And remember, I could do x squared equals a. So really, this is like saying a squared minus 8a plus 7 equals 0. Can you think of two numbers that multiply to give you um, 7 that add to give you that? Yep. Uh, I could have a negative 1, and I could have a negative 7. But instead of having the a's, remember it's x squared. So it's x squared minus 1, right? And x squared minus 7. So when you do this, we have x squared minus 1 equals 0. I can solve that, which we just did in the last problem. So I get x squared equals 1. Square root them. So I get x equals plus or minus 1. And over here, x squared minus 7 equals 0. I can add 7 to both sides. So I get x squared equals 7. I can square root both sides and get x equals plus or minus the square root of 7. So there are two answers and four answers to the problem. Okay, and I think if you can't do it after this one, I'm doing it again. Uh, the last time, hopefully, I ever have to do a problem like this, so you can see. So um, I'm just going to write through it here quick. I'm pretty sure you guys can solve these by now, right? I'm going to make x squared equal a. I have an a squared there. This is a 4a plus 3 equals 0. Um, I'm looking for numbers that multiply to give me 3 that add to give me negative 4, right? So you end up getting a minus 1 and a minus 3 equals 0. I substitute out the a so I get x squared minus 1 and I end up getting x squared minus 3 equals 0. You set them each up so x squared minus 3 equals 0. I would add 3 to both sides uh, to get x squared equals 3. Square root both sides and I get x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. So there's two answers. 
and we just did this twice in two straight problems. Um, minus 1 equals 0. I would add 1 to both sides. So I get x squared equals 1. I square root both sides, so I get x equals plus or minus 1. There are my other two answers. All right, I hope that that helped solving some problems, some more in-depth problems. Um, those, I can understand that they're challenging, those types of problems, to see that they are actually quadratics disguised with x's to the fourth in them. I can see how that can be challenging, but once you grasp that concept, once you realize that, these problems should be simple from there. So, have fun trying out some more of those problems, because it will be so much fun. Smile. Oh my goodness. Do you see the teeth? There'd be the teeth. Oh my goodness. There's my tongue hanging out. Saying, ah, I know. It's going to be fun. We do math. Math is fun. Look at me draw. I am such a good drawler. There's an eyebrow, but this one, no eyebrow. We have a nose as well that goes with it. That's what I look like. If you've never seen me before, that's me. I have one eyebrow, two blue ears, and a tongue that always hangs out. That's me.